everybody, Boftoos here. Welcome back to my Crusader Kings 2 series, The Caliphate Strikes Back, where I'm currently waiting for my sort of pet Jewish Emir down here to go ahead and form the Kingdom of Israel. The requirements to do so are control the du jour kingdom, which he does. As far as I'm aware, he controls all the holdings. You need 500 prestige and 500 piety, which he has. You also need to convert it to Judaism, Jerusalem to Judaism, but you, oh, he's done, he's done Hebron. So it is possible to convert. That's good. That's, that gives me hope because I don't want this to drag on forever waiting for the AI to do something. That's not a really good way to, to have a goal to hope the AI does something. Now, anyway, perm, bloody hell, perm. I forgot how big perm got and that's still a clusterfuck up here. Um... So yeah, just having a quick look around before I carry on to Sicilian Revolt. Also very cool. Um, not nothing really overly odd. Um, oh Christ, lots of stuffs happening down there. Anyway, yeah. So um, waiting for him to basically convert Jerusalem, and we'll see what happens. I called a jihad last episode, and it is a jihad for oh, it's on the Angelos. Cool. Uh, a jihad for Greece, I believe. It is jihad for Greece. Yes, it is. So, I've called jihad. If I win, if I, well, if I commit the most uh, to the to the crusade and it's a success, I win the the things. I'm going to gather everyone in Asuf because it is nearby. It's also on the coast. I can send troops from there. And it also means that um, there's a high supply limit there, so they're not going to die. So that's good. That's always that's always positive. Can I become strong? Have I become strong? I have not become strong. So wants to join the war. Uh, my kinsman, Sultan of Arabia, fine. He's my vassal. So if he got all the land, yes, it wouldn't be great, but at least he'd be a vassal. Um, just looking at this. What's Duke of Cartland. That's an interesting coat of arms for a duchy. Uh, yeah, so I'll let this roll for a bit while everyone gathers their troops. That's a Baluchistan revolt I'm in down to the court. I can press some claims. I don't care. I can call them allies. I'm not going to. They'll want to join anyway. Um, conscript ships, which I will actually do. Persian Gulf. No. Not over there. I don't need them there. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. Um, because they'd be over here. This is the Persian Gulf, by the way. Or the Arabian Gulf. There is a sort of controversy about what it should be called because obviously there's the Arabian Peninsula here, but there's also Persia here. So it's sort of like the English Channel, except I think, I'm not too sure about this, but I'm pretty sure the French just accept it as the English Channel. It's just called the English Channel. Or it's called a different word, but not the French Channel, or something like that. Uh, assemble the mob, and he will probably give me money to, to not burn it down. And I won't burn it down because there's no really need. Um, okay, so I'm, I can't marry this guy. Why not? Something, something, rebellion. Good, have the craft dispersed. All right, just letting this play out. My son has become... Oh, dropped a pen, sorry. Uh, my son has become decadent. There is a large Armenian liberation revolt that is possibly going to lose its battle because they've just lost... Uh, they've just crossed a river. They have more men. So if they can survive the initial, they've won that battle. Cool. So Armenia could could be restored, which could be quite interesting. It's a sunny. What is what's his name? What's his family name? What an interesting name. Okay, so he's an Armenian, but he's sunny. So that would be an Armen Armenian kingdom. That'd be really cool. I you don't often see Armenia as a kingdom. Um. You know what could be really cool? If I win this crusade, just waiting for everyone to gather really at the stage. If I win this crusade, um, I lose diligent. Oh, that's not good. Um, if I just gave it all to uh, to my Jewish Emir, that could be quite funny. Just like, yep, you have lots of power, and then I'll make him independent and see what happens there. That, that could be worth doing. I might do that when I finish the series, and then at some point do a spectate. See exactly what happens. Right, so is this all my army? No, there are other armies that are not moving, apparently. Okay, so it's 2,000 odd men. I will 
reduce them. Who's left? Oh, I've still got... Oh, they're mine. They're mine. Okay. But I'll send these guys off. And I'll have them shipped by boat. And I'll go into fleet levies and raise levies. Because I'm in a jihad, so they're not going to hate me. Which is good. Oh, I want all ships. 211 ships. It will not be enough for the actual amount that I need. Everything over here can be disbanded. And we will go from there once everyone is arranged. Am I missing? I must have accidentally got one from over there. But fine. Um, it, how is it? I'm kind of confused how... Do I have to... I do, don't I? If I just check my book. Yes, I have the sauna and the uh, whatever this is called. It's not telling me, apparently. But no, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad that I've, I set up that little merchant republic. Okay, so I'm going to split this army in two. In twain. And stick it on the sea. And... Oh. Okay, so first things first. What are we looking at in terms of enemy forces? 17,000. 18,000, essentially. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a foothold in Crete. And... Because I'm pretty sure Crete is part of Greece. It is. Okay. So if I get a foothold in Greece... What's the supply limits? 16,000. Okay, so if I drop the guys off there... And then when that is done... Uh, I'll ship the ships back over here. I have become... Mujahed, which is brilliant. Uh, and I can't hire the Bektashi gun, why not? Currently in Fife. What? Sorry, what are you doing? That's something players do. I don't get involved in, in a holy war, why not? So who's involved in this at the moment? Just my vassal. So the, uh, the Seljuk Sultan is too busy. Hang on, what's going on here? Are they Catholic? No. And these guys. Why are they involved? No! Oh, it's a holy war against the thing. Okay, so they're not involved. Have a look. So no one's helping him. He is the only real orthodox kingdom, apart from Georgia. But I don't think Georgia will provide much in the way. 3,000 men. Yeah, Georgia's not going to do much. Okay, so this army's here now. Send it to Osuf. And then immediately embark. And go over here. Now what I'm going to do is, because I'm not sure where the actual main army is, and I don't want to go traipsing through enemy territory, what I'm going to do is drop off forces in places where I will have the advantage in terms of a uh, the terrain. So like a, a mountainous island, such as Rhodos. That will be very good, because they will come to fight me. And won't actually be able well the most of the most men they'll have will not be able to overcome the mountains benefit to me and the crossing penalty to them although they are sort of marching troops into my homeland which is not so good i'm just gonna try and fabricate a claim on this because i don't want him to have that i want to control it and am i leaving any troops at the moment am i brave for one thing I am brave, okay. I'll carry on leading troops because I've actually got a really good marshal. The white tiger loses me. It just keeps getting better. <laughs> I'm hunting down all the white cat all the white animals in the game. White tiger, bear, lion, and stag. That's cool. I didn't know you could do that. And I've inherited a title. Where is this? Oh down here. I'm gonna give it away. Actually no, I'll keep hold of it now for now. Until I actually need space. Right, so I'm no longer losing troops from attrition because they've already they've got to the supply limit. And I'm just going to weight them down. I mean, this guy's already in a couple of wars. Seljuk invasion of Anatolia, which is at the worst time for them, really. Oh, my son has become a scholarly theologian, which is not the best, let's be honest here. So, I'm going to marry him off as a punishment to his cousin. <laughs> because, you know what, why not? Betrothed. They can marry because, you know, incest is fine. Uh, and they can't marry because of reasons that I'm not too sure about. How's this guy doing? 
Can you hurry up and form the uh, convert his own kingdom, please? That would be helpful. Why is that? Okay. Interesting. Yeah, so um, in terms of what after this series, I have already decided on what I'm going to do. And I'm not sure if I've already mentioned this. But um, someone, and apologies, I've forgotten your name, uh, suggested, well, asked me to do Eastern Christians. And by that I assume they mean either Myophysites, who are predominantly down here, or the very, very, very rare Nestorians. Now, liking a challenge, I'm actually going to go for this, the Nestorians. I've become friends with this guy, cool. Um, the Nestorians don't actually have any characters apart from uh, a few Mongol characters, because the Mongol Emperor actually converted to Nestorian at some point. Um, didn't really do much for the for the religion. It, it's still not really around, but uh, I'm not going to play as the Mongols. I, I think I will create my own character for that, um, and I'll probably. It's going to be difficult to start with, and I want it to be difficult. I want it to be a challenge, but I don't want it to be too difficult. I need to be independent, and I need to be in a decent position. But at the same time, I'm gonna get, I will get Holy Ward by anyone nearby. So I need to bear that in mind. Okay, so I'm actually gaining... Oh, okay, there's a fleet on the way. It's landing there. Oh, it's heading there anyway. Sea of Crete. Where's it going? Ionian Sea. Where's it going? Oh, it's all, oh, going all the way over there. What are they involved in? Is it another Henry the Byzantine Revolt? Oh, they're going over there to fight that. Fair enough. Uh, is this guy leading troops? He... Benevento. Okay, so they're currently in, in Italy. Uh -huh. I've had an idea. I might... I'm gonna take these guys. First, I'm going to crush his army. Because, you know what, why not? And secondly... And I've gained prestige. Wonderful. I'm going to ship this army to the Sea of Marmara, and you guessed it, I'm going to besiege Constantinople, because, you know, I want to, <laughs> and all of a sudden, everyone wants to join in, uh, why is that, who are you, Kinsman Viceroy of Egypt, I thought he was already in the war, he wants to join in, he wants to join in, I'm going to let all these guys join in, because they're not going to do more than I am. Because they're all smallish characters. I've already got. Um, oh, the Sultan of Arabia is actually catching up a little bit. But as long as I have 100%, which I should do if my uh, armies take Constantinople. What's the supply over here? 60. Okay, so I can't really. I can drop off an army in. Caliopolis, perhaps? Just so it's nearby and it can actually uh, assist if need be. Because that siege is done. Um, I'll just take the take the church as well. You know, a little bit of extra thing. Fifty clerk, marry her to him apparently, and send him over here. Yeah. So I've essentially cut the empire in two. Yes, they can cross by sea and they can cross by over here, but not anymore. Um, but it does mean it's more difficult for them to actually take advantage of the large amount of forces they have. Um, and, of course, if I take Constantinople, for one thing, once I get past the Theodore Ocean walls of Constantinople itself, I'll be able to deal with all of them, taste little holdings, and it's all capital holdings, which is extra stuff. Now, I did remember that I didn't actually give the Sultanate of Syria back to my son. Uh, and I can't give it to him while he's in prison, and I'm not going to let him out because he's going to kill me. So, to try and avoid that, I could give the Sultanate of Syria to this guy. Because that seems to be my go-to thing. Uh, and if he has that, then it's still... No, it's more effort for him to deal with. He just needs to convert Jerusalem itself to... to Jeru uh, Israel, not Israel, the Jewish. Someone wants to marry someone, fine. 
And here comes an army. And they are attacking Kaliopolis. Kaliopolis is planes. Who is in charge? These guys. Are they any good? Some would say yes. Uh, how, 17th April. 16th. Send this army to go and assist. So that I can completely overwhelm them. Like so. And I captured a duke. And I will ransom him. I cannot because he has no money. Uh, which is... Not surprising so much. Do I have any more levies to bring? Uh, a few thousand. But not enough. Not really that much. So, I'll actually take all these guys. Disband them. And then I'm actually sort of better off that way. So there's a large, the, it's a good time for me to attack, to be honest, because there's a large uh, Byzantine revolt going on, because obviously they've got ter they've got territory up there and over there. So it's split the, um, it's split the uh, armies to try and deal with both. So it's not like it's all just concentrated in one place. They are being attacked from multiple sides. So that is quite good for me. And I'm going to continue to do this while I try and stop this guy from doing stuff. Why... We will do nothing for now, because I don't need to. I mean, what are we looking at in terms of factions? Nothing, really. Which is all good. It's all for the good. Um, and yeah, because I kind of... I'm, I feel like this series is, is reaching the end of its life. Um, making the Kingdom of Israel is meant to be a short-term goal, and it's turned into... Like almost as long as it took me to become an empire. So, I think I will... If he doesn't form... If he doesn't convert it, I'm going to either uh, just leave it at that, or I could use console commands to convert it for him, and then see what he does. But we'll see. I prefer it to do it to happen naturally, because it's always better when the AI does something, when the AI achieves something. But there might be additional... Um, restraints on what the AI can do because there are restrictions on certain things. And I haven't looked at the code, so I'm not too sure myself. But I'm sure it's it's very possible. And this guy really does not like me at all. Uh, but I don't care. I'm not going to try. Anymore. I'm going to end the plot. No, he says no. Send him money. Now will you end the plot. Also no. So, I could give him advice royalty, but I'm not going to, because he's not going to do much. I'm trying to enlighten this guy. I do like the, the, the role player aspect of that, but it doesn't really seem to make much, do much, do much, really. Or it does just cause some strife. Although then again, if you're not a all-powerful emperor character, I suppose it is more important to try and keep your individual vassals liking you, and Rama's just become independent somehow. Rama and Arsa took off the Oh, Traitor in the realm. Fetch me the traitor. This guy is arrested. Viceroy of Egypt. Uh, yeah, okay. Fetch me the traitor. He still likes me. He's still a big fan. <laughs> so I'll just keep him in there for now. Because um, that means I don't need to really worry about Egypt being a, a rebel. Oh, an elephant has gone crazy and is running amok in the town outside the castle. It's already killed several people. What should we do? Try to capture it. Possible to capture the cra crazed beast. It kills several more people, flattening a couple of buildings, and ran off into the countryside. Uh, I lose gold, prestige, and the peasants are upset. Interesting stuff. A little flavour about now. I haven't seen that before. Maybe because I'm quite close to India. It could be because I own Africa. And there's African elephants. Maybe that's why. Ah, it could be. Yes, because I own, like, uh, the Horn of Africa. But nothing about that. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure where African elephants tend to be. But it's a cool trait. Cool event, either way. Wonderful. So I have won this jihad. And I'm going to demand it. And I suddenly have 156 holdings. And I am going 
I'm very tempted to give it all to this guy. I could do. That could be quite funny. I think I will. Um, yeah, you know what? I am. So let's have a look. Um, Constantinople. Fantastic thing. I'm going to create Greece. And give it all to this guy. And he really likes me. <laughs> and is my computer going to crash? It did not. So he controls a lot of land. So I'm going to let him allocate it all out. So he's still got all this territory. <laughs> oh, I'm doing so much for the Jewish people. It's fantastic. Right, so... um. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Next episode will be the last, I think. If he doesn't convert Jerusalem and form the Kingdom of Israel, I'll consider this a, a good thing for him anyway. He's, he's become the Sultan of Greece. So, that's a big step up for him, really. I'm just going to let him continue to allocate the land out. Uh, Emirate of Ascalon. Oh, he's, of course, he's given out his, his realms. Okay, he's taking Constantinople as a thing. Um, he's keeping Jerusalem very wise he's allocated them all out <laughs> I love a big homogenous kingdom like that anyway yeah so I'll end this episode here thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time